Hi folks, I just wanted to take a moment to talk about overdubbing. Uh, one of the questions on your quiz is, is overdubbing too, uh, too much dubbing? Um, that's just kind of a, a trick question. Overdubbing means you are taking audio segments and layering them over top of each other. So in this case, I'm going to record myself playing one guitar track, and then I'm going to record myself playing another guitar track while listening to that track. It's not terribly hard to do, especially because Audacity does some of the things automatically for us. The first thing you want to do is make sure in your blank Audacity project you go to the transport window and you have overdub on, checked on. That means I'm going to hear through my headphones what I just played when I go to play my second track. This is going to be really important, otherwise it's not going to quite sound right. So I also have some other things that are changed. My audio input and output are going to look a little different than yours. I'm using a secondary device that we'll talk more about later in future courses or future lessons in our course. But if I want to record my first track, that's right. The first thing I do is hit record. It will automatically generate an audio stereo a stereo audio track for me. So here we go. I'll play a little Jimi Hendrix for you guys. And we can use our fade out tool to finish that. And we'll chop parts of it off too. So obviously I want to talk I want to chop off the part that I just talked over at the end. That wasn't very helpful, was it? So I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna get my zoom tool. I'm gonna zoom all the way out. Holding shift. You're gonna see shift a bunch of times. Sorry about that. So this is the part I want to chop off right here. I have a good feeling if I go back to my selection tool, this is stuff I, w I want rid of. And there's me talking, that big spike. And we can use our fade out. Oh, that sounds terrible. So we want to get rid of that and make our, our track sound real good. So you want to keep as much as this of this reverb trail as possible. If we are to zoom in on here, we're going to notice that this is just the chord ringing out. We want that sound. It sounds good on a recording. So I want to chop this right here. Bring my, bring my playhead to where I want it. Hold shift. Highlight my area over here. Again, I apologize for those buttons. And I'm a snip, and it's gone. So now I can hit record again. It's going to bring up another audio track down here, and I'm going to record on another track. And this is this is the act of overdubbing. Once I've recorded my second track, so here we go. Take number two. <laughs> That's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to those both together, make sure they they sound good. That's very important in our in our audio process. You hear a lot of me breathing in there because I got my headset on.
So I think the first thing I'm going to do is fade these tracks out. So, the, so I'm going to want to make sure that I have it highlighted all the way down to the end. Hit Effect, Fade Out. Now I'll do the same thing over here. Effects, Fade Out. So that way I don't have to think about how I want to finish this. And that's just how it's going to end. So that I can go back to the beginning. And make sure I have both my tracks selected. Oops, this keeps getting in the way. So both my tracks are now selected. And I can do things uh, that I, I can do to, I guess, change the sound. So the first thing I want to do is amplify the sound for both of them. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to normalize. That takes the low, uh, low amplitude sounds and makes them higher, and the high amplitude sounds and makes them lower. And there we go. So this should hopefully sound a little better. That's not bad. So I got two completely separate tracks and recorded one over the other. And just to make uh, make it sound a little better, I can pan them, which means fade them to the left or right speaker. So I'm going to take this one and move it a little to the right. I'm going to take this one and move it a little to the left. You'll notice now that they're coming out of uh, the left and right speakers in a different way now. this to a short lesson and I'll finish it with that. And of, course, of course if I want to send this out I can export it to my iTunes library or my Windows Media Library. I can always import more things over it such as sounds of me clapping, uh, other drum beats from other songs, whatever I really feel like doing. And I hope that helped you out and I hope you guys have a good uh, break this, this uh, Thanksgiving. And don't